Look at that! Dude! Oh my word! Oh my word! That's awesome! Argon gas. Argon fucking gas, dude. No hydrogen whatsoever. That atmosphere is definitely slowing us down. It's just taking a minute. Yeah, we'll definitely be exposed to daylight here, which is good. Yeah, it's possible that a lower part of the atmosphere maybe has hydrogen. But so far, argon gas is the only thing showing up here. Let's see what this says for the atmospheric composition. Carbon dioxide, nitrogen, helium. Yeah. Fuck. That's unfortunate. Unless there's some kind of ISRU process we can use that maybe converts something like that into hydrogen? I don't know. I'm not sure. We are definitely feeling the heat now, Jack. That is for sure. Are there argon engines? Oh, sure. Yeah. But traditionally, they're not very powerful. Although, I don't know... If maybe, like, the thermal turbojet or the thermal rocket nozzle maybe has an option to use that. And we'll have to look and see what our options are. Because what I really want to do is send something like a plane here that still runs on beamed power, but I want it to be able to scoop the atmosphere to refuel its tanks 
and be, you know, at least somewhat self-sufficient in that way. Not having to rely on carrying all the extra fuel needed for the return trip out of the gate. We could launch it under its own power, and then when it arrives and re-enters, it could scoop its own atmosphere back up for refueling on the way home. Ideally. Argon should be a pretty decent option for thermal. Should be kind of a middle ground between high ISP hydrogen and the denser fuels. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, we'll have to see what we got for options then. Because if that is an option, then maybe we could look at, a, you know, kind of a somewhat of a redesign of the, of the Mr. Beam. This seems like it's been a very nice, gentle re-entry so far. Is that thing seriously going to just continue to orbit? Yeah, it is. At least our parachutes have been hanging on. Oop, now we're feeling that G-load. like we're over what's called the highlands at the moment. Oh, make that midlands. Nice looking probe. Oh, thank you. Hopefully it still works, because we're not under the woods yet. We tested this thing on Kerbin, and it seemed to work mostly. But it really hinges on these Sepatrons being strong enough to carry this thing away. But we're going to deploy the parachutes before that happens. This thing just descending into the clouds. Bro. Yeah, not a lick of hydrogen to be found. Dude, how glad am I? that we didn't just blindly send the space plane thinking we'd be able to scoop hydrogen out of the atmosphere. <laughs> oh my gosh. We would have been in for a rude awakening. <laughs> that would have sucked so much. Ooh, look at that. Bro. Are we in like a valley here or is that just clouds? I can't tell. Oh, that's just more clouds.
trace gas. Uh, oh, maybe, huh? Hmm. Yeah, now we're picking up Xenon, too. Oh, wait, liquid fuel? We're picking up liquid fuel. What? Whoa! Bro! We're picking up a lot more than liquid fuel! Oh my word. Well, this descent is now going to take a minute because we are inching towards the ground at three meters per second. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. Yeah, we, we have liquid fuel. So maybe, I don't know, we could look at that as an option too. Cut the parachute? No, we don't want to do that. Because then we'll be coming in sideways. Dude. This thing is actually working quite well. Let me uh, F5 here. Because I would love to try to accelerate time. There's a good chance things can get weird if... Wow, dude, that looks so cool. And then they're not all, like, static, right? They're moving. Like, that one just duplicated. Whoa. Any plants have you been to? Um, let's see. So we landed on Duna, Ike, Moho, and now Eve. Well, now Eve. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know... It's not close enough. It's 
literally on the ground. These things, um, ground tether attached. Those landing legs are buggy. started taking on heat as well. It's a little weird. What if we change these to auto, I wonder? Or override, rather. 